In this video, I will show you how you can use Rafe to provision a Windows node group to your Amazon EKS cluster. You will then deploy a containerized Windows workload on your EKS cluster. You can use Rafe to add a Windows node group to your EKS cluster either using the self-service wizard or using a declarative cluster specification. In this cluster, we have a Windows node group based on the Windows Server 2019 full container AMI family. We have scaled this node group to one Windows worker node. The other node in the EKS cluster is a regular Linux based worker node. Now let us look at what a declarative cluster spec for this cluster would look like. Rafi provides a convenient way for the user to download the cluster spec. As you can see, the cluster spec is standard YAML and can be stored in a version controlled Git repository. Now let us configure and deploy a legacy application for Windows that has been containerized. As you can see from the YAML, we have specified the Windows node selector to ensure that the pod will be scheduled on the Windows worker node. The Windows container based workload will be accessible to users via a load balancer. Let us publish the workload now to our EKS cluster with the Windows worker node. Note that Windows containers can be much larger relative to Linux containers. As a result, they can take a long time to be pulled from the registry and become operational on the cluster. So this can take a few minutes. Now let us now use um, Rafael's Zero Trust debug channel to view the status of KATS resources associated with our Windows workload on the remote EKS cluster. Looking at the KATS events tells us that the image was pulled successfully and the container is now operational. Let us now use Rafael's Zero Trust kubectl web shell to check the status of the pods and retrieve the load balancer's URL. When we access the URL using a web browser, we can see that we are now able to access our Windows container based workload. Thank you for watching.